Hey guys, this is Justin from BreakingTheCRE.com and in today's video, we're going to talk about the licenses and certifications that actually matter in real estate private equity and real estate brokerage if you're looking to break into the industry or advance your current real estate investment career. So if you're feeling overwhelmed with all of your options out there, definitely make sure to stick around for this video. Now on this channel, we talk about real estate investing careers and real estate financial analysis. So if you're looking to break into the industry for the first time, or you're looking to do your first commercial real estate deal, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified every time we release a new video. So if you're looking to break into real estate, private equity, or brokerage, there are a ton of organizations offering you some sort of certification or designation behind your name that you can go after to differentiate yourself from the competition. But with all of these options out there, which ones actually matter and which ones should you spend your time on? Ultimately, at the end of the day, you only have so much time. So how can you actually be efficient with your time and work on the things that actually matter? Well, in my experience, there are really only a few that really matter and really count on your resume and with building your experience and making you a solid real estate investment professional. If you're looking to break into real estate private equity or real estate brokerage, investment sales, or debt and equity placement. So in this video, we're gonna do something a little bit different and we're gonna go over three of the most commonly asked questions that I get around real estate licenses and certifications. Now, speaking of licenses, the first question that I get often is, should I get my real estate license? Now, obviously this is going to depend on what you want to do and also where you are geographically because requirements change based on the state and the country that you're in. That said, based on my experience in the US, if you wanna work at a brokerage shop, my general answer is yes. And if you wanna work on the principal side as an analyst or an associate, my general answer is no. So if you're looking to work in brokerage as an investment salesperson, then oftentimes at some point, you are going to be required to actually have a real estate salesperson or broker's license. Again, this depends on the state that you're in, but most often you're going to have to eventually get that designation and it could help you even at the analyst level when oftentimes you're not necessarily required to get that immediately, but you oftentimes are required to get that within a certain amount of time after you've actually landed a job. So having your license when you're going into applying for jobs can be a really helpful thing earlier on in your career. Now, if you're looking to break into the principal side, so you're looking to move on to the investment side of the business as an analyst or an associate, so whether you're an acquisitions analyst or an asset management analyst or a portfolio analyst, if you're on the principal side in general, it's not really going to be a value add for you to get your license. Now, yes, you may learn some things as you're trying to take and pass those exams, but for the most part, it's not actually going to set you apart from your competition when you're actually trying to land a job. What I would focus on much more if you're looking to work on the principal side is really understanding real estate finance and financial modeling, as I've said many, many times on this channel. Now let's move on to question number two here. And this is actually a question I get very, very consistently. And that is, is the CFA designation helpful? And again, in my experience here, the answer is no. So even though the CFA is a very difficult exam at all three levels, and definitely shows an advanced knowledge of finance, in general, the CFA content isn't going to give you the specific skill set that you need to be successful in a real estate analyst or associate role, whether you're on the brokerage side or on the principal side of the business. So with all of the required time and money that go into passing the CFA exams, you could actually use that to learn real estate finance and financial modeling and apply that directly to your job. In my experience, this is going to make you a much more desirable candidate. When hiring managers are looking at resumes, they want to hire that person that understands real estate specifically and can add value to the company from day one. Now, where this could be helpful is if you're working for a company that actually trades REIT stock or real estate investment trust stock. Now, I would say this is actually outside of the realm of real estate and real estate investment analysis and really focused on trading paper assets. But if that is a route that you wanna go, the CFA could be helpful. 
Otherwise, for most people watching this channel, the CFA likely isn't going to be a huge value add on your resume. Now from here, that really leads me to question three, which is more of a broad question, but the question is, I'm thinking about getting X, Y, or Z certification, is it worth it? Now, there are so many certifications out there and many companies and organizations trying to sell you that their certification is the one that you need to get that will take you to the next level in your career. But for you, again, you probably have limited time and you probably don't want to spend tens of thousands of dollars and hundreds or thousands of hours preparing for different exams and certifications. So which ones are actually worthwhile? Well, with the caveat that this is going to be very specific to your actual goals in the industry, if you're looking to break into real estate brokerage or real estate private equity as an analyst or an associate, and you're working in some sort of a finance role, there are really three things that are going to be the best bang for your buck when you're looking at what to focus your time on as far as certifications and trainings are concerned. So number one is passing levels one through three of the REFM exams online. Now these exams are free to take through getrefm.com and they're widely known in the industry as some of the gold standard of Excel real estate financial modeling exams and employers know that these are not easy. So if you can pass levels one, two, and three, that definitely shows a solid understanding of real estate finance and financial modeling, which again is going to show an employer that you can add value from day one. Now, number two is an Argus certification if you want to work in retail, office, or industrial. So if you're not familiar with Argus, Argus is a real estate financial modeling software, which is mainly used for commercial real estate properties and commercial real estate lease modeling. Now, it's not a cheap software, but many companies use it in order to model out commercial leases because it makes things very easy to change and it makes modeling very uniform from company to company. Now, the ideal scenario here is for you to be able to work in Argus as an intern or maybe be able to work in Argus in a first job at a real estate brokerage or private equity firm, but oftentimes it's a catch-22 and these companies will want you to have Argus experience even if you don't have experience in the field. So a way to get around this and to show that you actually know what you're doing in Argus and again can add value from day one is to take and pass the Argus certification exam. Now this isn't cheap, but it can be a great differentiator for you, especially if you're just coming out of college and you're looking for your first job in real estate finance. Now the final thing I would recommend is completing online courses that are specific and relevant to what you're trying to do in the industry and putting those courses on your resume. So some examples of this just from break into CRE courses are courses like the Real Estate Financial Modeling Bootcamp, the Real Estate Pro Forma Modeling Masterclass, the Real Estate Development Modeling Masterclass, and the Real Estate Equity Waterfall Modeling Masterclass, which will all demonstrate to an employer that you can actually do what they're hiring you to do, which is model out real estate investments and analyze real estate investments on behalf of the company. Again, this holds a lot more weight than maybe just showing someone that you have a college degree or other non-specific training because it shows them that you've learned the specific things that you're going to need to do on the job and you're going to be able to get up to speed and be valuable to the company very, very quickly. So in a nutshell, those are really the certifications and licenses that actually matter in commercial real estate. Now, if you wanna take a look at the break into CRE courses that I talked about in this video, I'll link those in the description below. And if you want access to all break into CRE courses, all models, and some additional one-on-one -on -one support, check out break into CRE Academy, and I'll also link that in the description below. So if you found this video helpful and want to see more content like this, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, and sharing this with anyone else who might find this helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.